So I've been working for a long time, nearly 20 years, in gender justice, global justice, feminist theory and virtue theory. And gradually I began to see this topic of beauty was something that had been completely missed by philosophers. But yet it's a topic that matters and matters increasingly and we really have a global epidemic of body image anxiety and this is important and needs attention. So I make a number of claims in the book but I think perhaps the most important is that beauty is functioning as an ethical ideal and by that I mean that it's people's moral framework. So when they say things like you let yourself go or oh I've been good today, I went to the gym, they're making very moral claims and they really think that they are good or bad, better or worse, depending on how well they conform to the beauty ideal. So the visual and virtual culture we live in is one of the key drivers about why beauty is mattering and mattering more. So there are a number of others. So um, I talk about the technological imperative that as we can do more, we think we should do more. I talk about consumer culture. And of course, I also talk about the fact that it has become people's value framework and ethical ideal and how they judge themselves. But clearly, in a non-visual culture, beauty couldn't be mattering the way that it is. So there are lots of possible futures. If we continue in the way we're going and carry on regardless, then the future is bleak indeed. We will be in a situation where we are aspiring to ever more unrealistic and inhuman beauty ideals. And the normal and natural body will in fact be a very modified and very enhanced body. But there are many possible futures and we do not have to go this way. We can embrace much more diverse, women-friendly, human-friendly beauty ideals.